Look at this man. Look at this man. It's 37 degrees outside. And this man, as long as you blaze in the tats, man, I'm telling you, you don't get cold. When you got ice in the veins. <laughs> this is warm weather. We're just going to walk and talk with J.O. And uh, Coleman can just wait. Oh, yeah. So you... How you feeling, man? You look like a million bucks. You're beating up on the old man pretty bad yesterday. Feel great, feel great. But Coleman, Coleman is 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 the man. He can still scrap. Don't let it, don't let it fool you. But I feel like a couple of those he let you have. But I feel like the times you put your head through his sternum, those hurt me a little bit on the inside. The, the one, the one that you caught on tape was kind of personal. When, <laughs> when, when he kicked out, I was kind of pissed. I wasn't, I wasn't admitting it there, but. So that the goal, one. so the goal was he's trying to give you different feels, obviously, for for things. But, but you if, guys, you guys have been in the room scrapping for a minute though. Since 2000 and summer 2008. That's but, a long time. Uh, he's giving me different feels, you know. Different guys give different feels, and uh, you know, giving me things to frustrate me. He knows me very well as a wrestler. Knows where I need to work. He knows where my competition likes to go, and then things they like to do. So. Uh, and it go like that, we, we like to mix it in. Uh, and just me stay consistent and doing what I do and don't get too caught up on anything anybody else is doing and just implementing my style and uh, what I do best, attack and, and score points, so. How comfortable do you feel right now around this, around this uh, Pokes crew? You got the legend, Kenny Monday. You got a guy that you just talked about. You got tons of history at Oklahoma State with and Coleman. Um, you got Gary Wayne in the room. I mean, you just got, I mean, and, and even though he's not a poke, Ramos is just, he brings that extra edge to things, man. Like, talk about your comfort level and your training and, and how that's playing out. Because uh, you're wrestling great right now. It's, it's good. These guys know me uh, not only inside the room, you know. They know me outside the room. They know what type of person I am. They know where to push me and when to lay off. Uh, but just to have that crew around me, it's family. You know, they've seen me develop. Uh, Gary's a little bit younger, but even having him around coming from the same program, uh, he knows the kind of mindset uh, I've been trained under and the, and the things I like to do. But uh, even further, these guys have been around me my whole career. So leading into the, the Olympic trials and, and being around Coach Monday, who's Olympic gold medalist, and uh, Coleman, who's a bronze medalist, you know. Uh, eyelash away from making the finals in 2012 so these guys know what it takes uh to get there and they know where i come from and uh, they've watched me develop since i was 18 years old uh so we're continuing to develop and uh inside the room and outside the room but also you know um uh, what's going to make me the best wrestler and what's going to make jordan oliver the best and you know, we're creating habits and, and doing things that I haven't done uh, because we have to go places that I haven't been, right? So, talk about talk about the evolution of Jordan Oliver, though. You've 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 evolved, and so uh, a lot and there's a lot of it's a misunderstood. Some of it's misunderstood who Jo is. Some of it's by your own doing, and some of it's by just uh, the the misconception of of you. But talk about the evolution of where you're at right now as a, as a human being first and then as a wrestler second. Uh, you know, coming up to the years, uh, I can say that some of the years I, I kind of, you know, excuse my language, pissed away. You know, uh, now looking back and, and the things I'm doing now, I could have been doing, you know, back when I was in college and coming through college to uh, make a name for myself and maybe been on multiple world teams. But with that being said, uh, I wouldn't change any of it, you know, it, it, it helped shape me not only inside the room, but it helped me shape me as a person outside the room knowing that I got to live right and make the right decisions every single day. Every decision I make, you know, holds weight to the dream that I'm trying to uh, obtain. So being an Olympic champ, uh, you can work your ass off in the room, excuse my language again, but you got to work your butt off outside the room. You got to do everything right. Every decision you make needs to go in and, and weigh in is this uh, Olympic champion decision. Uh, so, you know, the past couple years, uh, and, and there have been ups and downs, you know. A lot of the times, there's a lot of talk, a lot of talk around my name, and, and I come up being the first loser a lot. 
right? And, and it's disappointing and it hurts. Uh, and I have the ability to change that, right? And, and I've always been a hard worker inside the room, uh, but it's also carrying the same habits and the same uh, mentality outside the room, you know, executing outside the room, whether it's, you know, getting to bed on time, getting up on time, uh, the things I'm putting in my body and then how I'm maintaining my body and my daily eating routine and my habits and everything that I'm doing. Uh, so living right is, is, you know, for me, if we're putting this on a scale, you know, the outside, outside of the wrestling room is 80% for me. You know, you put me inside the wrestling room and I, I make dreams come true, right? And, and I can do a lot of things, but, you know, it got to come full circle. And I think uh, this move here, you know, being with Coleman and Kenny and then going through everything I went through, whether it's losing and taking